Hi everyone. So in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how you can access Canva's new Dream Lab feature from your web browser. It is a powerful AI image generator built to bring your creative ideas to life in a whole new way. So whether you're looking for photorealistic images, 3D renders, or just some extra style in your visuals, Dream Lab has got you covered. For the benefit of those who do not know, Dream Lab is Canva's latest tool in its visual suit, powered by Leonardo.ai's finished model. It allows you to create high quality graphics just from test prompts with options to style your visuals in over 15 different styles. You can also upload your own image as a style reference so that you can get the exact look you want. So this, this Dream Lab is actually a very cool introduction made by Canva in the last month. As of today, most users are still unable to access Dream Lab from their Canva app because it's not directly available for some users, while others can. So, but that's not an issue because you can still accept Dream Lab from your browser. So, to access your Dream Lab, sign up to your Canva account from any browser of your choice. So, this is my Canva homepage, and then come to the to the search bar and enter the URL canva.com/dreamlab. Canva.com/dreamlab and then enter it should take you to the dream lab so this is this is the landing page this is your dream lab interface now that we have our dream lab open let's explore how to walk around as you can see these are some of the images images i recently generated using the dream lab so here you can enter your prompt and then choose the style you want and the ratio you aspect ratio you want for the image and Dream Lab will go ahead and generate. So let's enter a prompt. I already have, I've asked um, AI to generate a prompt for me. So I'm just going to copy it and then paste. So here is my prompt. Smiling, chubby, African-American female educator sitting at a desk with a laptop, wearing glasses and colorful. So I'll go ahead, ahead and choose my style. I want this style to be in, um, let's say, vector or well, there are different st different styles you can choose from you have cinematic creative smart so let's go ahead and choose an instant let's see what vector looks like once you select your style go ahead and click on create so it's currently generating so this is what i have this is what i have it's generated about four different images vector images so now i can also change the style Let's go for creative and let's see the difference. And now I can change the aspect ratio to maybe 16 by 9. Click on create. So it's very easy to work with. So this is what we have for creative style. So once you select any of this image, you can download. Once you click on this icon here, you download it. Once you click on this edit icon, it will take you to Canva editor where you can edit your image to your taste. You can remove background, you can change, adjust the color, saturation, play around with the edit features in Canva. So this is what we have. This is what we have. We can also go ahead and change. Let's see for cinematic concepts. Let's see, let's see what it looks like in cinematic concepts. I'll go back to one to one ratio and let's see what we have. So this is it for cinematic. There's no much difference between cinematic and creative. So this is so this is it about Dream Lab. It's very easy to use. One last thing I would like to point out is that for Canva Pro users, you have about 500 credit units every month. So because I've used some of I've generated some images, mine has reduced to 497, right? But if you are on Canva, um, if you're using a Canva free account, it's about 20 credit units per month. So if you want to be able to generate as many as possible, you should upgrade to Canva Pro so you can have enough credit to generate much images. All right. So it's very easy to use. It's very simple. I hope you try it out and let's see what you come up with. See you in my next tutorial. Bye.